What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on PLTR ticker. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what uh, bullish signs uh, we have for now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, somewhere at this point, uh, and I've told you that uh, in order to confirm our uptrend, we have to have consistently higher highs and higher lows. I drew this structure on my previous video to show you what should we have. But instead of this, we still have uh, lower lows and lower highs, and technically we are in downtrend, and we are nearing this previous uh, bottom, this win low. It was the retracement from the beginning of May, and it is the price point of around uh, $17.19. And I have to say that the closer we get uh, to this uh, level, the more attractive average price uh, for your position we might have. So, I will show you what should we expect next in my technical analysis, but for now let's continue with the fundamental news. And let's start with the company profile. For those of you who don't know, Palantir Technologies builds and deploys software platforms for the intelligence community in the United States to assist in counter-terrorism investigations and operations. The company has two main products, Palantir Gotham, the software platform for government contracts, and Palantir Foundry, a platform for commercial contracts. And this company for now has a total market cap of $37.97 billion. They have a revenue of $1.43 billion with a revenue growth of 43.12%. And uh, they have negative net income of $512.53 million. They have a very strong cash position of $2.53 billion. And I have to say that financially and fundamentally this company is a very good company and a very good contender to be at least in your watch list. So, and let me show you the recent news. We don't have basically much recent news related to this uh, company, but still, we are on Seeking Alpha, and this article was published on December 14th and is titled Palantir's stock keeps dropping and I keep buying. And this article was written by Viktor Dergunov. And let me quote to the summary. Palantir's stock uh, shed about a third of its value in the, sec in the recent sell-off. The post-earnings slide is perplexing, as Palantir's results uh, were robust last quarter and the company guided higher than anticipated as well. The transitory concerns responsible for sending Palantir's stock lower should not keep her shares down for long. Additionally, Palantir should benefit due to increased demand uh, from the cryptocurrency sector. And I totally agree with this statement, because uh, Crypto industry is booming right now and uh, they just uh, launched uh, their new product related to uh, crypto industry and this uh, will lead uh, to new market for this company. And the last uh, bullet. I expect uh, Palantir's stellar performance to continue in future years and PLTR stock price should move substantially higher as the company advances. And uh, let me show you this article. And uh, this uh, article was published on Motley Fool and uh, it was published on uh, December the 12th and uh, it's titled Is Palantir a buy? And the key points of this article are Palantir is bringing innovative government software to the commercial sector. Its software unlocks a whole new world of data that companies uh, can use to improve their businesses. Palantir is a buy for specific investors, but might not be for everyone. And let me show you this. Palantir has become known as a safe, secure and powerful analytics platform among the US government and its allies. Having various sectors of the United States government like the Army and CIA as customers is a powerful uh, testament uh, to the security and reliability of Palantir. Palantir was uh, even rumored to help capture Osama bin Laden in 2011. This achievement helped uh, in its efforts to move into the private sector. And we know that uh, recently they have uh, more contracts from the government sector, but for now uh, the company has grown its revenue from the commercial sector by 103% year over year. And the company's customer count has doubled since the start of uh, the year and grew 46% sequentially. 
This rapid adoption from the commercial sector is important because Palantir's software is extremely sticky and it is very expensive to obtain customers. The company spent over $150 million in sales and marketing in the third quarter of 2021, representing almost 40% of its revenue. As a result, Palantir brought in 54 deals. While 54 deals don't seem like a lot, 51 of those deals are worth $5 million or more and 18 of those are worth more than $10 million each. With uh, deals uh, this expensive, once you become a customer, it is probable that you are going to stay a customer. That's stickiness. Not only because uh, the price, uh, but also because Palantir's services can quickly become an integral part uh, that businesses rely on. Therefore, this rapid adoption from the commercial sector is a great sign that Palantir will continue to succeed in this space. This is crucial to the company, since Palantir's customer concentration currently shows it's still massively reliant on the government uh, for business. So, we also have uh, risks related to any companies that we want to invest in, and the main risks uh, for this company are following. Aside from the immense reliance on the government, there are other risks associated with the Palantir's business. Especially with the government, security is a major concern. While Palantir has never had any security breaches yet, all it takes is one for the relationship it has built with a major government customer to dissipate. Palantir prides itself on its security and the ability to hold sensitive information, and any failure to do so could wreck the company. And uh, I completely agree with this statement, because uh, only one mistake, and uh, this mistake might be uh, not so huge uh, that uh, you might think, but still, if uh, this company will have only one mistake, this might be a crucial point for their upcoming relationships uh, with the government. So, it is what it is. And the second risk is the company path to profitability. And as you can see, we have this table. They have net losses on Q3 2020 of $853 million. But uh, net losses in Q3 2021 was only $102 million. And uh, the net loss as a percentage of revenue was 295% compared to 26% in 2021. This means this company is on its path uh, to profitability, but it is a quite long way. And in my opinion, usually this type of uh, growing companies should reinvest all their money in order to acquire more customers, in order to have the highest uh, possible market share. And uh, right after that, this company will definitely become uh, a profitable company. So, I have to say that uh, we still have some downsides uh, with this company, but the upside potential is really massive. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as I already mentioned on my previous video, you should enter your position if you want to invest in this company on every daily red candle, and we have uh, three of them right here. And your average price uh, might be quite different, uh, or maybe even uh, at around $20 price point. Because if you believe in this company, you could accumulate your position all the way down when uh, we walk closer to uh, crucial uh, pivot points, potential pivot points for this price. So, and what do we have right now? Let me show you that on daily time frame we have uh, bullish divergence and uh, it is a very good sign that we have it for now. As you can see we have higher lows on RSI with the lower lows on the price action. And this pattern is uh, very strong and especially on a uh, daily time frame. And this pattern shows that we might have a trend reversal and potentially from this point uh, we might have uh, this structure, we might have higher highs and higher lows and uh, we have to break all the resistances that are above uh, our current price in order to confirm this trend. First of all, definitely might be this range. Let me mark it for you. It is a confluence level with this support from this point and right here it is the resistance. Let me change the color to yellow. Okay, so this is uh, the first uh, range uh, where we might have a resistance and if we will break it and then uh, we might break uh, this resistance uh, and even this one. And this will indicate uh, that we are more bullish and every time when you see this type of uh, bullish divergence you can uh, accumulate your position a little bit heavier because uh, we also have very bullish sign right here as you can see. 
this asset is losing its negative momentum according to MACD indicator and when we will have the crossover right here we will start to tick to the upside and this positive momentum will uh, lead to much higher price targets. So I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye!